Hey everyone, these days everyone is extremely concerned about blood oxygen saturation and lung function. It is for this reason that the 6 minute walk test has gained popularity. So let me tell you everything you need to know about it. The 6 minute walk test is a reliable test method that has been developed by the American Thoracic Society in 2002. It was specifically for patients with lung dysfunction but has been adapted to be used for several other conditions. It is a sub-maximal exercise test used to assess the aerobic capacity and endurance of an individual. It's basically the measurement of distance covered in 6 minutes that is used as a baseline by which comparative changes in a patient's performance capacity are made. This means that it helps us compare whether an individual's lung function as well as other physical parameters have improved or deteriorated. The advantage of this test is that it is useful in all age groups from children to geriatric patients. It requires minimum equipment to perform and it evaluates function of all systems including pulmonary, cardiac, neuromuscular, metabolic and peripheral circulatory systems. How should one prepare for the test? It is important that you wear comfortable clothing and are at ease in the environmental temperature. You can wear your walking shoes and have a light meal before you attempt the test. Make sure you are well rested. Remember, you must not perform any sort of warm-up or exercise before the test. The test method is very simple. Mark out a 30 meter stretch of unimpeded walkway without any obstacles. You may keep cones or chairs at the start and end points. Begin the stopwatch and start the test. Walk as fast as you can from one end to the other and back to complete one round. Make sure you go around the end point and do not make a sharp turn. Complete as many rounds as you can in a 6 minute time span. It is normal to get out of breath and some participants may need a break in between. It is allowed to lean against the wall and catch your breath while the test is on. Remember not to stop the timer for any such breaks. Congratulations, you have now calculated your personal best. This is the number of rounds you have completed in the duration of 6 minutes. The next time you perform the test, if you walk a greater distance, it indicates improved functionality. But if you walk a lesser distance, it is possible your functionality has been compromised. Remember, never compare the results of this test with others. There are many dependent factors that are different for each individual such as gender, age, BMI, height, presence of comorbidities and several others. I hope this video helps you assess your lung function easily. Please do share this video with anyone who might benefit from this information. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel.